Parts and functions of sewing machine. In between the time you push the treadle and start stitching, there are a lot of actions happening in the machine. A person who sees the operation of a sewing machine without knowing the functions of each part might feel confused as to how this chain of action happens. Only after learning the function of each part will a person be able to use sewing machine effectively. Thus it is essential to know different parts of the sewing machine and the function that each part does. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify different parts of the sewing machine from a diagram or an original machine, list out the functions of each part of a sewing machine. Most of the parts are common for all sewing machines. Each machine has a machine head and machine bed, while the stand and its parts are a typical feature of the treadle sewing machine. Let us identify different parts of a treadle sewing machine and check the function of each part. A spool pin is a pin that you could find on top of a treadle machine. Spool pin holds a spool of thread. There are different types of thread guides in a treadle machine. A thread guide holds the thread from the spool and guides it properly to the needle. Tension discs are two metal discs held close together at the front of the sewing machine. These discs are meant to control the tension of the thread that passes between the two. The tension on the thread is increased or decreased by tightening or loosening the spring and nut that holds these discs. Take-up lever is a small lever that extends from the front part of the sewing machine this lever has a hole at the edge of it that receives the thread from the spool and passes it to the needle. With the up and down motion of the lever, it feeds the thread from above to the needle and also tightens the loop formed by thread from below. Needle bar is a long steel rod which holds the needle at one end with the help of the clamp. Another bar close to the needle bar is the presser bar. Attached to the bottom of the presser bar is the presser foot. The presser bar can be lifted up or lowered down using the presser foot lifter. Once the presser bar is lowered, the presser foot will hold the cloth firmly in position. The feed dog which is present below the presser foot moves up and down and forward and backward. During stitching, the movement of the feed dog and the pressure exerted by the pressure foot move the fabric forward or backward. Face plate is a removable front plate on the sewing machine. Opening this plate gives access to the oiling points on needle bar, presser bar, and take-up lever. Other than the thread that comes to the needle from the spool, there is also thread coming to the needle from below. Instead of a spool, a bobbin is used for storing the thread that has to come from below. The wound bobbin is then fixed inside a bobbin case and placed in the shuttle that is in the lower part of the sewing machine. The tension of the lower thread is controlled more or less with the help of a small screw in the bobbin case.
bobbin winder facilitates the winding of thread on the bobbin. Some sewing machines automatically stop winding when the bobbin is full. When it comes to the sewing machine stand, the first thing you notice might be the big wheel in it. This wheel is called the band wheel. Foot plate is the part of the sewing machine stand where you keep your feet for operating the machine. By the pressure exerted by the foot on the foot plate, the band wheel starts moving. The long bar which connects the foot plate and the band wheel is called Pitman bar. Flywheel is the wheel that you see on the back of the machine head. When the band wheel starts rotating, it also rotates the flywheel, as both are connected together with the belt. The flywheel can also be operated by rotating with the hand. As the balance wheel rotates, the needle bar on the left side of the face plate is set in motion. It has a needle clamp at its lower end to which the needle is fixed. It moves the needle up and down. With that we come to the end of this class. Let's recall what we have learnt. Spool pin is the pin on the top of the treadle machine that holds the spool of thread. A thread guide holds the thread from the spool and guides it properly to the needle. The tension of the thread from spool can be increased or decreased by tightening or loosening the spring and nut that holds the tension discs. Take-up lever feeds the thread from above to the needle. The presser foot can hold the cloth firmly in position. Feed dog helps in moving the fabric while stitching. A bobbin holds the thread that comes from the lower part of the sewing machine. Sewing machine operates with the movement of fly wheel. You have now learnt the important parts of a sewing machine and the function of each of those parts. Take our next class to learn how stitches form on the fabric you sew. Q.